We had a, a trench collapse. We had a, a company working on the side of uh, 1A installing a, a sewer line, and somehow either uh, the, the trench collapsed while a worker was in it or collapsed while the worker was standing on the side. <clears throat> the worker was trapped about about seven to eight feet down into, a, into the hole. When he was in the hole, he was uh, covered with, with sand and dirt, and then a, a heavy uh, amount of asphalt, thick asphalt, probably eight to um, 10 inches thick. I think the difficulty always in the trench collapse is as you try to dig someone out, the, the trench keeps collapsing. So we had <clears throat> initially before the Essex County uh, trench rescue team was able to get here, um, we had police officers that were on duty. They immediately jumped into the trench and, and started digging out when they realized that they couldn't extract the individual. They notified the station right away to get as much help as they could. Um, so they did an excellent job in stabilizing and getting that person um, room to breathe, if you will, because he was buried up over his chest at that point. And then a fire engine arrived. Uh, we do have uh, some trench rescue material on the uh, fire engine. And in cooperation with the construction crew that were here, we were able to commandeer some plywood, use our um, equipment to secure the hole. He was in a lot of pain. His legs were trapped. His, one of his legs was actually wrapped around a gas main. Um, probably, uh, definitely lower leg um, issues, probably a broken leg, a broken ankle. And what, what crew, what company came in, what, like what rescue crew? Was the, the, the Essex, Essex County uh, Technical Rescue Team. They do high angle rescue and, and trench collapse. So they were able to uh, extricate him, put him on a backboard for C-spine protection, put him in a scoop stretcher, and then buy ropes to take him out of the hole. He's in the way to Boston Medical. Thank you so much, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.